How you doing, you beautiful man? <laughs> we're here in Atlanta, we're on our way. It says we're going to be there about half seven. I know it's going to be a bit late, but I hope that's all right, man. No worries, man. See you soon, all right? Bye. We are approximately 2.5 miles away, my friendly chap. That's how that works. Wow. Got a bug. We have made Let's it. Let's do this. Let's do this, boys. We made it to Rob Pitts' garage. We're in America. This is awesome. South Carolina. How are you doing? You all right? Doing good. Rob, my name's Jero. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? What's going on? Good to see you, man. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've seen this garage so much over Instagram. Uh, we were live with Rob earlier this year on me and Sam's. Uh, live vlogs that we did on YouTube, and uh, now we're here, and like, this looks amazing. <laughs> Do we sound good? Do we sound, we sound good? We sound good? We sound good? Ready? 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 So I caught up with another American here, Rob Piss, my man. How you doing, I buddy? Say another one. <laughs> yeah, there's like two of us here. <laughs> <laughs> All two of us. So you've been really busy. Running around wide. I'm telling you, I'm glad I got my Nikes on today. <laughs> I've been running, 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 running. I'm telling you. Is this your first time at Petra Hayden's Live? This is my very first time here. I'm having a blast. Yeah, it's, it's, my, blast. it's my first time too. And I think for sure coming again next year. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Just pencil me in. Yeah, right on. So I was talking to Rob last night, and man, you have been so busy. You, you, it's your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, we got doing the YouTube stuff. You know, that's that's took off and going great. And then, you know, we got other projects going on, selling cars right and left, and being all the rabbit one can be, I guess. You know, <laughs> there's only one rabbit I know, and it's this one right here. So if 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 you are looking for a vehicle and you're in the the uh, the South Carolina area. This is the guy. Yeah. We sell we sell them worldwide. They go everywhere every day. Uh, you know that's that's the fun thing I love about these cluttered cars. Like we're talking about the story that's with them. Yeah. I love that about these cars, and I love the love for the automobile. It's not just in certain states or certain areas or certain countries. It's worldwide. I mean, here we are. 8,000 miles from home, and these guys have got the same love that my neighbors do for these things, and I love this. That's what I love about the car community. No matter where you plan us, we're gonna find some cool car stuff. That's exactly the truth. I mean, we had a conversation, I actually had multiple conversations with just people here at this event, and they said the exact same thing. And you know what's cool is everyone has the same passion for different vehicles. Some guys might like BMWs, some guys might like old Chevy, some guys might Lambo, but the the passion is the same. Well, this is the thing, and I've been, you know, we've talked about this several several times on radio, YouTube, whatnot. But the thing that's crazy is, is it's more the people. The cars are just a byproduct. You know, no matter, you can take the cars and alternate those out, but the stories, they all kind of interweave and stay the same. You know, what drew you in? Was it a car that your neighbor had one like it? What drew you in? So you saw this car as your childhood dream car. What got you into liking these things? Your buddy in high school had one. You know, or it was your dream car. You worked your butt off to get it, or getting this certain job, or doing this to get to this point, to get to this car. And then the stories of this car, the things some of these cars have seen. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you gotta think, look at these wheelies. Yeah, these I mean, are cool. These, these are cool. classic drag cars. Before they put a man on the moon, <laughs> these things were going crazy. I mean, that's what I love. I love the classics. I love it. I mean, that's virtually my life. Well, if you look at the, the craftsmanship of these cars, like, it, it's a work of art. Well, you gotta think about it. This is early technology. Back in the day with the whole gasser setups, front end straight up, that's weight distribution, kids. You know, back then they didn't have all the wind tunnels and crazy stuff they have today. These guys were in their garage and they were just trying anything that worked. They knew when they took off, they blew the tires off of them. We gotta put more weight on the back. What do they do? Bring the front end up, let the wind push it back for you. So be honest, have you have you thought at all, maybe I might buy a car on my here meeting? So me and Freddie have been walking around and we found like two cars. And we're <laughs> I, knew back and forth. I, knew, I knew this guy's gonna try to buy something. So we're back and forth and we're like, oh, then we're gonna get it back. So now we're talking to Chris and Gas, but Chris, I can bring any damn thing back. And I'm like, well, that's dangerous. So I've got a checkbook that's burning a hole in my pocket right now. And and Freddie's like, hey, got to borrow a check. I said, I'll float you, bud. You got good credit with me. <laughs> there you go, man. Rod Pitts, check him out on YouTube. Check him out on Instagram. And also, let's plug real fast. I know you won't plug it, but I'm going to plug it. Tell us about your, your new Netflix show. So uh, it's a great show. We got some great guys on there. It's a team like no other. It's dropping worldwide on Netflix. Be looking for us early next year. It's actually going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about this new project. All right, guys. Rod Pitts, a humble guy, but a fun guy. So check him out. And maybe, maybe 
I might have to buy a car soon from this guy. Let me, let me give you a call.